So I'm going to go over how to do your hair and I'm going to first start with doing a straight up ponytail. So the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is just brush through the hair. It also helps if you make sure that the hair is straightened before, um, so that way it just all looks the same when it's in the ponytail, um, and then it's easier to curl as well. All right, so the next step, you're gonna be taking some sort of hair oil, and you're going to pump a little bit on your hands, and then run it through the hair. So you want the hair to be somewhat oily. Some people like to just let their hair get naturally greasy, um, but the quickest way is to just get some sort of hair oil and then put it all over the hair, especially right at the base. So next you're gonna have the athlete flip her head over. You wanna start brushing the hair towards the direction that you're gonna be putting the ponytail on top of the head. Make sure to get all the tangles out of the bottom of the hair to make putting it into the ponytail easier. Once you've combed the hair over, you're gonna take edge control. I got this at Walgreens. You can get it at Rite Aid, CVS, Target, Walmart, pretty much anywhere. It's a very tacky, it's a little different from gel. You're gonna work it in from the base of the hair all the way up through where you're gonna be putting the ponytail. Don't be afraid to use a lot of this stuff. The more you use, the better it'll stick. Then take your thick bristle, bristled brush and just comb over. Go in and do this a bunch of times. I had shortened it for video purposes, but you want it to be very, very smooth. Then take some got to be glued gel and then take a little bit of this and put it at the very base. This is just gonna make sure that all those super tiny hairs don't fly away. And then just keep combing over. This process should be repeated a bunch of times until the hair looks very smooth before you go and put it up. So now I am gathering the hair from underneath. Now that the back of the ponytail is all slicked down, I have my thick comb and I am just brushing into my hand from the base of the hair to the front of the forehead. This is gonna create the high part of the pony and you don't have to worry about the hair coming out because it's all stuck down. You can use your hands too once you have everything, um, but I would run it over again with a comb just to make sure there are no bumps. I'm going to take an open hook hair tie. Um, you can buy these on Amazon. You can also use a regular one, but I found that these hair ties actually help eliminate bumps. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take the first hook, you're gonna hook it into the hair, and then you are going to wrap it around the ponytail as tight as you can. And then you hook it again wherever it naturally falls and then you pull head up now her ponytail is right on top of her head and then i like to just take a regular hair tie and immediately secure that once you have your extra ponytail holders in you're going to want to grab the ponytail and pull it down to the head so that's nice and tight then you're gonna go back in with your edge control. Again, this is very tacky and it's gonna help those flyaways stay down even if your athlete's sweating. You're gonna go ahead and work this into the hairline, then back towards the ponytail and along the sides. We wanna make sure that there are no loose hairs and this is gonna ensure that they stay nice and slick down to the ponytail. I would just use my fingers to apply this at first You'll see we'll go in here shortly with our brush and a toothbrush. So once you've worked the product all over the front of the head, you're going to actually take your toothbrush and you're just going to comb those baby hairs up towards the ponytail. We want to make sure that they're going the right direction so that way they don't escape. Once they are glued down to the ponytail, go ahead and take that got to be glued again just a little bit and you're going to put this at the base of the hairline just to secure those baby hairs that we just combed back. Once that's down, I then take the big 
bristled comb and then I just pull everything back so that way if there's any bumps or anything we're just combing it back towards the ponytail itself and then we're going to secure that ponytail one more time and there is your high pony it should look like this again you can see there's no flyaways not even in the back all her baby hairs are combed up towards the ponytail and it is directly on top of her head now for the hair piece this is ultimately what it's going to look like the zip tie is in the back of the hair and then the ponytail holder is in the front with the mesh. So you're going to start by taking the mesh part and facing it towards yourself. Take the pointy end of your zip tie and stick it towards you through the mesh. Add your hair tie and then push it back down so that the pointy end is going away from the mesh and then secure it behind the mesh. Now to actually put the hair piece in, you want to have the mesh part facing down towards her ponytail and go ahead and wrap the ponytail that's connected to the hair piece around the ponytail on the athlete probably about three or four times. You want it to be as tight as you can get it. Once you've secured the hair tie that is on the hair piece to the ponytail, you want to make sure that the little comb that is attached to the hair piece is pointing towards you standing behind the athlete. So the hair piece should lay directly over top of the athlete's ponytail. Alright, once that you have the hair piece in with the comb tucked under, have your athlete hold the tag end out and grab two of these clear elastics. These I got from Ulta. Um, they're thicker clear elastics. You can get them other places, but these ones are actually pretty stretchy and they won't break. You want to go ahead and take the hair that is actually in the ponytail that is not on part of the tag end and go ahead and put this around once or twice. This will just serve as like another layer of protection from it falling out. Then take the wraparound piece, go ahead and wrap it around. Once it's wrapped around, go ahead and take some bobby pins and stick them in towards the ponytail where that tag end comes out. I wouldn't put too many bobby pins in, but make sure that it's not going to unravel. Once you have it wrapped all the way around and it's bobby pinned, go ahead and hairspray the tag end part down. Just so that has extra. This is what it should look like once you have the hair piece all the way in with the tag end secured and you hairspray it down. All right, now we're going to go ahead and put the bow in. So go ahead, take your scrunchie, have the arrows Pointing down, they should be right at the top of her forehead. Grab the whole pony and wrap it around as many times as you can. So for her, I think I'm able to get around three times. You want that last time to be kind of hard to get the whole ponytail through because that means it's as tight as it's gonna get. So the tag ends should be right at her hairline. I then go ahead and bobby pin these down right in front so that bow doesn't move. All right, we're going to tease her ponytail. I am going to tease or hairspray it a little less than I normally would um, for a competition just because she's not competing today. We want to be able to see the tees over the bow. So if your tees is not visible from over the bow, then you probably messed something up along the way, but I'm gonna give you some tricks to help make sure that doesn't happen. So first, you're gonna take the ponytail and you're gonna flip it over. Kind of comb it through the center of the bow lightly, okay? The key here is you actually wanna continually brush your tees as you go. The first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take two bobby pins and where her bow is, I'm going to press them up towards the ponytail. This is gonna serve as something for the tees to sit on top of.
it should look like this. So you can see that the bobby pin is pointing up just like this and it's sitting in the middle of her bow. The first piece that you tease should probably be the biggest tease in the entire ponytail because it serves as the base of the tease. So I'm gonna grab a piece of hair and I'm going to comb up before I do anything. We're gonna take your hairspray Hairspray, again, I would hairspray in a little bit more. She was competing. Then you're going to grab the hair, pull up, and then brush down lightly. Then comb up, brush down, comb up. Brush down, comb up. And you do this on the front and the back for the bottom tees. It will start to look a little bit like a rat's nest, and that means you're doing it right. Once it starts to look like there's a little bit of a, a tangly mess, you're gonna hairspray that. You're gonna let it fall. It should on its own, I'm gonna turn you, stand up just like this. You're gonna wanna pinch it to the sides a little bit, lift up from underneath and comb over. So you wanna pinch it, spread it apart, okay? And then let it fall over top. Lightly tease and let it dry. If you automatically start putting hair on top of the wet hairspray, it's gonna get really heavy and it's gonna start to just fall. So I'm lifting up and combing up. Lightly hairspray, comb up, tease down. And again, as we get closer to the front, Go ahead and spread that out, comb it over. Now we're getting that really nice mushroom shape. Go ahead and look up. We're getting this nice mushroom shape and it's very, it's looking even. That means that we're doing it right. So lightly spray. The key to it looking smooth is to just keep lightly combing. You don't ever want to brush something completely out but you want to be lightly combing and adjusting it to the shape that you want it in the entire time. So I'm not afraid to ever go through and comb it. You wanna make sure that you can't see, head up a little bit. You wanna make sure that you can't see any of the tees underneath. Um, and the only way you can do that is by combing it. So don't be afraid to go in and actually kind of lightly go over it. You're not gonna ruin it by doing that. You're actually probably gonna help it look better. Make sure too that you occasionally start facing the athlete to make sure that the tease is even on both sides. Um, this is the best way to make sure that you can actually go back and fix it. If you don't check it until the very end, it's a little bit harder to fix, but it is still fixable. Um, just make sure that you're looking at them head on. If you're doing it in a mirror, just make sure that you're checking to make sure the tease is centered to save yourself the work for later. All right, so for the last little bit of hair, um, I'm gonna face her to the front so you guys can see what I'm doing. But you're gonna do the same thing. It's just gonna be a little lighter than you did the back of the hair. So take a big, your second to last piece will probably be bigger. Lightly spread, comb up, tease down. You want this tease to stay as close to the bow as possible. Um, because too much tease here is gonna make it visible and we don't want this. So just a little bit of tease right at the bow. Don't be afraid to push down here at the base and then comb up. Make sure you spread this one out. Make sure it lays flat over the rest of the hair because this is the final layer. So it's kind of the last chance to hide anything that might be poking out. Here, this one. And then make sure you give this one a pretty good Pretty good spray. And then the last piece, sometimes I don't even tease it at all. It just depends on how high the rest of the hair is. But you do wanna spray the underside so that it sticks to that last one. 
super light tees on this one. And then make sure you spread that one as well. And then give this a really good spray up top. Again, I would spray it more normally, but because she's not competing. No. The tees should end up looking like this. You can see it over top of the bow. If we look at it from the side, all the tees is covered. From the back, we have a nice mushroom dome shape. From the side, you can't see the tees and the bow lays flat. So the last thing that is actually new this year is we're going to go ahead and curl this now. So you wanna make sure that the bow is in, the tees is done um, before you curl anything. And so what I like to do is you're actually only going to curl about this much of a hair. So you don't wanna curl the actual tees, you want the curl to be at the bottom of the tees. So I would go ahead and use whatever heat protectant you like and then give the bottom of the hair a light spray with hairspray. Comb, comb through the bottom of the hair. I have a wand that I like to use. Um, I think this gives the best curl. So you're going to go ahead and wrap the hair around, hold it. You wanna try and have the barrel facing down so that way the curl falls down. And then as it falls or not, it will start to wrap like this. If your hairspray is in, it shouldn't really move all too much. You can go ahead and play with it to make sure it wraps all the way. But whenever you're curling it, make sure that you're taking small pieces and then you're going to the base of the tees and then a little above it. And then you're gonna wrap it around. Hold it. And then when it falls, I would go ahead and hold it in your hand if, if your athlete has longer hair, just to ensure a tighter curl. So that's how small we want the curls to be. Again, about this much hair, okay? Probably about like from your thumb to your middle line is about how much hair you want in each curl. So wrap it around, hold it. Let it fall. And then I would just pull it so it's all like this. And then you wanna make sure that the curls on the outside are curling away from the face. But the other ones, it doesn't really matter what way they face. Okay. And then once you're done, give that a good spray. You don't wanna brush these out because the athlete is gonna start tumbling and stunting and they're probably gonna fall out on their own. So this is what the final product should look like. You wanna make sure that you have those small pieces of hair for the curls. Start that curl a little bit underneath of the tees and then give it a good hairspray. Make sure your athlete shakes their head around so that their hair piece feels secure and that it's not gonna fall out.